Welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K Road to 2K23. Shawn Michaels versus Rob Van Dam. Who you think gonna win? I don't know. One of a kind. One of a kind. I based off one of one of my moves that involves you in the wrestling. Two actually, they have the rolling senton. This is Shawn Michaels' first time the on the since winning the world Spring for Thunder. Shawn Michaels had the will to win at Survivor Series. He had the belief that he could reach down into his soul and pull it off. Super. Anybody in that ring with him. And that's exactly what he did. He beat five other men. Yeah, but you have to admit, Cole, he had an advantage. He didn't have to enter that elimination play. chamber until very late in the match. He got to sit back and watch a lot of those guys literally beat the hell out of each other. Including Rob Van Dam, who was in that match from the get-go. No, not again. I bet they could hear that one up in the rafters. With a 180, Rob Van Dam, the reversal. You know, I must admit, I'm still so. shocked that after all that time away, Shawn Michaels was able to outlast five other superstars in the Elimination Chamber to become World Heavyweight Champion. And those superstars, King, of course, being Chris Jericho, Booker T, Kane, Triple H, and the man in the ring with him right now, Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam won a triple threat match here live last week to become the number one Ooh. contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Booker wow. T and Chris Jericho were the other two men in that match. And let's not forget Christian and Scott Steiner interjected themselves into the match. It was pure chaos. But when the smoke cleared, it was Rob Van Dam okay. who walked away with tonight's title opportunity. Multiple. Shawn Michaels has to be protective of his lower back. It'll never be the same following his well-documented back. Oh, search. watch out. What's he going to do here? Bam! Big forearm off the run from HBK. And a kip up by Shawn Michaels. And Michaels is feeling it. Shawn Michaels is feeling it. Sweet chin. He can feel time. it, but he's going to lose it. Tune up it. the band. Here it comes. Hey, and now RBD ducks the sweet chin music and hits with his own. And you can hear the fans willing him onward. And he gets leveled. That's it. He's out. You know, I don't know how much longer this storybook return can last. Rob Van Dam. Whoa! Five-star frog splash to the back of Shawn Michaels. Can Van Dam capitalize? Yes. yes All he's going to do is turn HBK over, and this should be it. Here we go. Van Dam into the cover. Hooks the leg. Who the heck? Hey! Triple H! What's Triple H doing? is here! Look out! Rolling in this title match with a pedigree to Van Dam! Oh. Uh, I just messed up the game. Yeah, you gotta know. This I just is not messed about up Rob Van the game. Dam. This is the vindictive Triple H. Going against Oh! oh. Going after Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Triple H that has been obsessed with the heartbreak kid. Oh, now, wait a minute. Put that down. What? Oh, this is not going to be good. The game with that steel chair in the ring. And look at the way he's eyeing Shawn Michaels. He despises Shawn Michaels. He will not stop at anything until he ends Shawn Michaels' career. Shawn is down and out here. Oh, wait. Look at this. Michaels firing back. Big right hands to Triple H. Oh, right back to the midsection for the game. And now the game hammering away on Michaels. This is turning into a brawl here. And Michaels never giving up, King. He's got the heart. He's got the guts. Hey, get in that car. Boom. 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 A bow. A bang. A line. Two. Back with you. Right through the chair. Oh. When is this going to end? Oh. <laughs> I broke his back. So we got five matches up. So it's Triple H versus Rob Van Dam. Triple H calls RVD the chance to the world heavyweight title during his match against Shawn Michaels on Raw.
RVD Triple H have put in the master tournament? Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I think I'm cute. I know I'm sexy. I got the looks that drive the gun. I got the moves that really move and I'm going to be the game. back i didn't think Shawn michaels would ever return to wwe but he came back in SummerSlam and beat triple h in a street fight yeah. i never thought Shawn michaels would get in the elimination chamber and fight for the world heavyweight title but he did and i didn't think Stun he could win it but gun. he believed and went on to become world heavyweight champion well what's your point cole Shawn michaels has overcome so much not just to return to the ring but to become world heavyweight champion Back and this rivalry class. between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell bent on Good. making HBK's life a living hell. You want it, and you want ironically, time, before this match started, Still Michaels good. told Triple H that as long as he has the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the game's life that will be a living hell. Well, it's hard to argue that. Triple H lives for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every fiber of his being, he wants nothing more than to recapture the goal. I don't know how Shawn Michaels is going to be impartial here tonight after what Triple H did to him last week with that backbreaker onto the steel chair. Oh, I agree, Cole. Michaels could snap at any moment and cost himself the World Heavyweight Championship. And then the biggest question remaining is what would happen to the World Heavyweight Championship match at Armageddon? Hopefully, we won't have to worry about that, but I wouldn't be shocked if we did. You know, Cole, I don't think Rob Van Dam has ever forgotten the role Triple H played in RVD losing the Intercontinental Championship to Chris Jericho just a few short months ago. You might be right, King. It was Triple H's interference that ultimately distracted Van Dam long enough for him to fall victim to Y2J and lose the title. Oh, man! And <laughs> I don't think the wind out of your sails. You know, it wouldn't surprise this could do. Triple H with a cover. I think that was a little slow. You think? <laughs> the game is living. And now Rob Hedges rolling up Triple H. And oh! <laughs> a really fast count from Shawn Michaels now on the game. That was funny. Well, you got to hand it to Shawn Michaels. He's not exactly an impartial referee in this one. Oh, look at RBD. There's a reversal. He whips Triple H into the corner. Oh, What's RBD going to do here? Bro. Oh, big shoulder oh, block. Right to the gut. And another. Look at this. Oh, Triple H with the close on. Whoa, they both ducked. And now RBD off the ropes onto HBK. Woo a jumping corner splash. Now what? And the knuckles connect. Oh, look out here. He's got him hooked. Great reversal. Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. You see that, Cole? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. Under the ring. But this isn't a no disqualification match. He might be trying to get disqualified. Oh, man. Steel chair being used as a weapon. His shoulders are down. One, two, three. Oh, that was no, easy. look at this. Yeah, Shawn Michaels reluctantly counting the one, two, three. I know Shawn Michaels hates that. But the game shoving it right in Michaels' face. One. That was easy. That was really easy. So we got like four, four matches, man. Our beginning, our cash for me. I mean, cash. The King of Kings. What the fuck is going The Heartbreak Kid. Two forces set to meet in a three stages of hell match at Armageddon. Oh no. The first fall, a knockdown drag him out street fight. The second fall, a more menacing arena as a hellacious steel cage surrounds the two combatants. And if necessary, the final stage, where victory is won from the top of a ladder. Our story begins at Survivor Series. Shawn Michaels with the elbow from the top hey. of the chamber. Shawn Michaels is the world's heavyweight champion. I love Shawn Michaels. I love Triple H. I love Shawn Michaels better. A sign of support for the new champion. 
There was a time I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was the man. The kid up on the rabbit just said, hey, Nature Boy, you ain't the man anymore. It's Shawn Michaels. Until Flair made clear what his message was really about. There is a new man in town. And Armageddon, the man, the bigger, better version, the best wrestler alive today, Triple H. If you're not ready to pass the torch, he'll kill you. The night was far from over for Triple H and Shawn Michaels as Raw culminated in a brawl no! No! that would set the stage for Armageddon. We're not seeing Shawn Michaels. You're seeing the showstopper right now. Taking out Flair. He's taking out the number one contender. Hey, this some shit. No, God, no! Michaels, the elbow on the top of the semi. A clash of colossal proportions as Triple H takes on Shawn Michaels in three stages of oh, hell they need to bring this match back that's what if they bring this match back it's going to be more better and funner they need to bring the three stages of hell back it's time to play the game you gotta play as triple h I think I'm cute. I know I'm sexy. I got the looks that drive the girls while I got the moves that really move them. That's some chills. Shawn Michaels. And look at what he's doing, King. Yeah, he's mocking Ric Flair. That strut. Not many people can mock Nate to get away with it. Oh, and Flair's livid. And Triple H trying to call Flair down. <laughs> oh, the funny. master of the mind games. Shawn Michaels. And, oh, yeah. What? Is the referee throwing? Oh, no. He's not only throwing Flair out of here, he threw him down on the ground. Shawn Michaels, what a boy. That don't look like Flair. This is the ultimate humiliation for the nature of the world. Like Rick Flair was on crack. This is the first fall in this match, and it is a street fight. No disqualifications, no countouts. The match will continue until one man either loses by pinfall or submission. Anything goes in a street fight. Yeah, and with the abuse that both these men are likely to go through under these street fight rules, you gotta believe that whoever wins this first fall is gonna have a huge advantage. Good point, King, because no matter how resilient both Triple H and Shawn Michaels are, Whichever one loses this first fall may not be able to recuperate from the punishment he suffers in this street fight environment. I can't believe Shawn Michaels coming back after four years, not only just to be good, but to be great, to become the world heavyweight champion. And quite frankly, I don't know of another athlete in the world that could have done that. Well, we've Many seen Triple H come back from some great injury himself, Cole. I mean, a torn quadriceps, the trachea injury he sustained at Survivor Series. Heck! You could probably cut Triple H's right leg off at the knee, and he'd still compete here tonight. Well, nobody knows better than Triple H the damage that HBK's back has suffered throughout the years. Much of it at the hands of Triple H himself. You, you gotta wonder, King, how vulnerable is Shawn Michaels' lower back, and how crucial a factor will his back be in this match? Well, it's got a big bullseye on it, that's for sure, and the cerebral assassin will take dead aim at it. Oh, mama! It's hard to put into words what this comeback for Shawn Michaels has meant for so many in the WWE Universe. Away from okay. the ring for over four years, King, after severely injuring his back. Wow, what a move from Triple H! That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. Look at this! If there's anybody in the game who knows the strengths and weaknesses of Shawn Michaels... Oh, that's it. That's gotta be it. Triple H, now that's a finishing One, move, people. Two, three. No, he kicks out at two. two. He leaps into the air for a flying forearm. He does. Yeah, I used to never see this happen to HBK. I'd never see the showstopper get beat up like this. Is that proof that Shawn Michaels is a half step slower than he used to be? Or is it just a testament to the cerebral assassin's ability? Well, you know, it's probably a little bit of both. And if HBK or the showstopper really is half a step slower, believe me, the cerebral assassin is going to take every advantage of it. Well, the referee might have made the biggest call of the match, but 
before the bell had even sounded when he ejected Triple H's mentor and advisor, Ric Flair, from the contest. Unfairly, I might add. I don't know if it was or wasn't fair, King, but it's the referee's call, and the referee's call is final. Yeah, but Flair didn't do anything to deserve that. As he did, no one's better he got than mad. The heartbreak kid at getting the WWE Universe fired up. Triple H with a beautiful reversal. Triple H, what a maneuver. And, and he right. fights out. The game was looking for the pedigree. Look at Shawn Michaels getting right. Michaels. Sweet chin music. Triple H for so long lived in the shadow of Shawn. He thinks he has it. No, that may be the closest I've seen a referee's hand come to hitting three. Bam! DDT'd right on his face. Oh, this is the longest match I ever had. This doesn't look good. Just stay away from our announce table, please. Again, this is a no disqualification match. Anything goes. Well, I think that's about to be put to the test here. Chaz up here. Oh, I bet he'll second guess what the hell. I press A. Hey, cheated. Oh, man, is he fired up? Oh, my gosh. Hey, be careful with that thing. And that shot was careful. dialed in. Get you, get you. Give me up, nigga. Uh-oh. Look where he's going again. Lala need the trash back. Oh, the elbow connects. He just planted him with a DDT. Get ready to see more damage done with that chair. Chair. Drop this shit. This Boy, nice. he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. Yeah, it looks like we could be heading back into the ring. Oh, what an elbow! And we're going back between the ropes. God. Oh, look at the game. He's ready to end this thing now. Oh, my. What a move. Shoulders One, down. Two. two. Three. Three. Oh, and Triple H wins the first fall in three stages of hell. Triple H. Oh, man. Let's go. Cool. That is huge. And now, the second fall will be contested inside the steel cage. Oh, no. To win the fall, you must win it by either pinfall or escape through the door or over the top. In either case of escape, both feet must touch the floor. And look at the game. He's loading the ring with, well, with weapons. Oh, what about this? This match is underway. Minus the nature boy, Ric Flair. Woo! King, you mentioned the rivalries of the game, and Mankind is certainly at top of that list. Yes. Their matches weren't matches. They were gruesome battles. The game of Mankind gave new meaning the to the term physical it. brutality. And you know, thinking of that physical brutality is always too much. Triple H and Mankind's disdain for one another carried over into steel cages. Boiler room brawl. No disqualification matches. I mean, you name it. These guys battled one another in it. He's picked up a table. Neither individual is going to back down here. Watch I break the table. Hey now. Uh, I was the one to break the table. Well, say what you will about his size and strength, but is there anyone smarter than Triple H? Nobody uses his mind in the ring more wisely than the cerebral assassin. And sometimes it's an evil mind. No, no, don't hit my eyes. He's no saint himself. 
he can be as controversial and break as many rules in the ring as anybody. And with the cold, calculating minds of both Triple H and Shawn Michaels that we were talking about, a three stages of hell match becomes an unbelievably dangerous contest. And the longer this match goes in this barbaric environment, the more it is going to shorten the career and take more and more action. Shawn Michaels making a move. One step ahead. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. There's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. On the chair. On the everything chair. Everything about this three stages of hell match is so unfair. And everything comes into play. The cage, the ladder, the steps, the post, the steel. Unforgiving is the word for it, Cole. The steel doesn't give a damn about an individual's anatomy. And believe me, Shawn Michaels doesn't give a damn about Triple H's anatomy. And vice versa. He was one step ahead on that one. After all of these shots to the head, I've got a feeling that Soup's going to be on his diet for the foreseeable future. Come on, man. Come on, man. Leave me alone. Let me get up. Oh, no, you got your signature, nigga. Uh-oh, trying to... Wow, what a move from Triple H. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. That should do it right there. And he gets leveled. Triple H, the number one contender, seems to need to be the World Heavyweight Champion to even exist in WWE. He needs it to simply survive. Well, that's Shawn Michaels' assumption. We want the... Th that's his opponent's finishing maneuver. His shoulders are down. Two. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. I didn't even... I didn't, I didn't even do that to him. What a table with Stars keep doing it. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Looks to escape over the top of the cage. He's climbing. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. He's not going to make it. Hold back in. Watch it, watch it! Michaels looking to put it all on the line. Oh no! Shawn Michaels hits the jackpot with a huge move. Oh my, this has been a punishing match. Hey, what? wait a minute, look at what is, what is Flair doing? Flair has just opened the case inside the cage. Flair has no business being in that cage. That dirty SOP. Well, he may reach the cage again. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Keep on doing everything in my arsenal. Awesome. One more time. And hooking the leg. Two. Yeah. Uh. Oh, look at that. Four Stay on. down. Stay your ass down. There's the corner. Can two. he do it? Two. Assist. Oh. Oh, and a 
and a terrific reversal by Triple H. Here we go with Triple H. Shawn Michaels gets out of that one. Nice. Oh, and another forearm. Oh, look at the emotion. There's the pin. Can his opponent Two. kick out? What a shot. Whoa, don't get up. Okay. Hello. Triple H setting it up. I don't believe it. He just stole his opponent's finishing move. He may get the three count right Two. here. Three. The game has done it. Oh, my God. Get some paramedics. Get some help. You champion. Pause again. Look at this. 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 Just brutalizing his opponent with that table. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Well, say what you will about his size and strength, but is there anyone smarter the than that? Triple H? Nobody uses his mind in the ring more wisely than the cerebral assassin. And sometimes it's an evil mind king, but Shawn Michaels is no saint himself. He can be as controversial and break as many rules in the ring as anybody. And with the cold, calculating minds of both Triple H and Shawn Michaels that we were talking about, a three stages of hell match becomes an unbelievably on, dangerous contest. And the longer this match goes in this barbaric environment, the more it is going to shorten the career and take more and more out of each man. And there's the reversal. Boy, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Dropped. And that was oh, a hard, hard shot. Oh, so good. And he dodges that one. I can't believe Sean. Man, why he keep on? After four years, not only just to be good, oh, but to man, be great. Why he keep, why he keep on reversing the champion? Up. And quite frankly, I don't know of another athlete in the world that could have done that. Well, we've Thank seen you. Triple H come back from some great injury himself, Cole. I mean, a torn quadriceps. The trachea injury he sustained at Survivor Series? Heck, you could probably cut Triple H's right leg off at the knee, and he'd still compete here tonight. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. Triple H may be out of it, and Shawn Michaels is going up. No! Shawn Michaels hit that one. Triple H for so long lived in the shadow of Shawn Michaels in the late 90s. I find... This has been a match. Hey, wait a minute. Well, this match again. is underway, but before that cage came down, the game was smart enough to load the ring up with weapons he can use. Well, going to the top, high risk. Heads up. Well, with the anything goes nature of a three stages of hell match, from the chaos of a street fight to the steel cage to the ladder match, you can't help but think the rules favor Triple H. Well, he is bigger and stronger of the two, King, but you're probably right. There's Same no way that. that size and strength advantage of the number one contender won't come into play. And let's not forget something else that works in Triple H's favor here tonight. He's got tremendous history in this type of contest. Maybe the greatest moment of his career came in a three stages of hell match. You're talking about unable to gain some ground here is Shawn Michaels. It's hard to put into words what this comeback for Shawn Michaels has meant for so The intensity. Yeah, what a move. Oh, Shawn Michaels wants to inflict some punishment. He wants to humiliate Triple H. The showstopper has shown up. Well, just as Triple H wanted to cripple Shawn Michaels to put HBK back in a wheelchair, Shawn Michaels would love to do the sweet chin music. You hear that? And this has got to be it. Two. Two. Three. Three. Okay. Oh, it's Shawn Michaels. And he's even things up. The winner of this fall, even in this fight, at one fall apiece, Shawn Michaels. Both these are two stars are bees. fit. But Shawn Michaels has got it back to even. Now, wait a minute. And now, the third and deciding fall will be contested as a ladder match. Oh, my gosh. 
Once again, it goes from bad to worse. John Michaels with the sweet chin music on the Nature Boy, and now the game and Nature are down. Everything about this three stages of hell match is so unforgiving, and everything comes into play. The cage, the ladder, the steps, the post, the steel. Unforgiving is the word for it, Cole. The steel doesn't give a damn about an individual's anatomy. And believe me, Shawn Michaels doesn't give a damn about Triple H's anatomy. And vice versa. Thank you, please. Uh, that's what he's going to me. I'd never see this happen to HBK. I'd never see the showstopper get beat up like this. Is that proof that Shawn Michaels is a half step slower than he used to be? Or is it just a testament to the cerebral assassin's ability? Well, you know, it's probably a little bit of both. And if HBK or the showstopper really is half a step slower, believe me, the cerebral assassin is going to take every advantage of it. Gotta be it. Climb it, you got it. This should be it. Oh, look at this. Triple H is gonna do it. Yeah, Triple H is gonna win the championship. Hey, Shawn wait, wait. Michaels, quiet defense, and saving the title. Oh man, so close for the game, but HBK able to pull. Oh, oh sweet oh. chin music. Not Triple H to the floor. Hey, Triple H. And you know what this means? If Shawn Michaels can get to his feet. All he's got to do is climb that ladder. What is Flair doing? Flair very active at ringside, but that's what it's all about. The prize hanging above the ladder. Shawn Michaels could be just moments away. Michaels checks the scenery. Now he's going to climb the ladder. He's going to head up top king. He's looking for the championship. Well, Shawn Michaels has had the heck beat out of him, but somehow he's reaching down deep here. Make that last run. Oh, look at this. Triple H. Ah! God. Man, ain't that some BS? You know, Michael, I don't think either one of these superstars have the strength or power left to even climb a ladder. This could be coming down any second. Oh my gosh, he nearly fell. There you go. Good morning. On the hands of the game, grab the biggest prize in the game. the game. And I'll tell you what, Cole, both these men may never be the same. That man ended Shawn Michaels' career in a game. We're going to do a video right there. Don't forget to subscribe.